The next train is for Battersea Power Station, Station. It's really not that often that a new station is opened in London. So when, like London buses, two stations were recently opened, we went down to see if the Northern Line was not only delayed and also to see what the stations are like and also to see what the heck a clean station looks like. Now I know what you're thinking, Steve, are you mad? This opened in September and hey, it's January. What's going on? Well, that thing called Christmas got in the way. So we thought we'd bring these to you now because with the weather being as it is, it's always a good trip to go on the underground to keep nice and warm. And it's always good for a family outing. And no, I haven't gone mad, but look how clean it is between the rails. Actually, you can see the proper color of concrete and not the normal black you see in all of the old train stations. So wherever you are on this planet, here's something extremely recognizable, the London Underground map. And this is where the new stations are. So the two new stations in question are Nine Elms and Battersea Power Station, which you can get to from Kennington. Now, the big thing, of course, is the development has been done south of the river. They thought it would never happen. Now the purpose of this video isn't to tell you how much they spent, etc, etc, etc. There's some other fantastic videos on YouTube. You can plug in and go and see those. The idea here is just to show you around because if it's a rainy day in London, there is nothing better than getting on the tube and sort of whizzing round. And actually, if you fancy coming south of the river, coming to Battersea is a good way of doing it. And I'll tell you more in a minute. So here we're at Battersea Power Station. Station. Yeah, I'm going to have to shorten that, aren't I? Here we're at Battersea Power Station. Um, it's not the one with the four. It's actually the track. Yeah, you get the idea. And here, as you can see, going right across, they sort of got a color mood board, which goes from blue at one end to orange at the other. Now, I stood there for five minutes because I thought it changed color. It doesn't. But actually, it does look quite pretty. It's not that often new stations open and actually it was over 14 years ago when they opened the Terminal 5 station over at Heathrow back in March 2008. Before that it was 1999 when they did the Jubilee Line extension from Green Park to Stratford and then from that 80 years before. So it's worth coming on and having a look. And when you get to Battersea behind the hoardings, yes, there are the four iconic towers of the old Battersea power station. Well, three of them and one's hidden behind. There you go. You can just about see it now behind that block of flats. Unlike a lot of tube stations around the outskirts of London and those that aren't in central, it's actually quite inconspicuous. The power station has been well and truly renovated with lots of apartments being built there. And if you look at the far chimney, they're building a viewing platform up there. Now, the great thing about the new station here is it links up with Battersea Pier. So if you fancy getting the river bus into London, this is a great point at which to change and get it. I've put a link to our video about getting the river bus up in the top right hand corner. So have a look on that because it's a great way to see London. As the train pulls out of the station here at Nine Elms, which is the next station along, let's have a look at this brand new station as well. I'd also like to say a big thank you to those people that have asked me to cover more of the London Underground. Yes, there is something very London-y about the tube. It makes it feel, well, very London-y really. So we've got this here specially for you. So if you're enjoying it, please hit the thumbs up button so we can spread London to more people so they can get to love London more as well. With Crossrail due later this year, we'll get down there and cover that if it does eventually open. Now, if you like getting out and about in London, let me give you a tip. Come down here to Nine Elms because at the Nine Elms Fruit and Veg Market, which normally operates Monday to Saturday, on a Sunday, they have a massive market which is open to the general public, selling so many different items, both new and used. So it's well worth coming down here, even if you haven't got the intention of buying anything, but to come and have a browse. It's a great place to come on a Sunday. The great thing about these new stations at Battersea Power Station and here at Nine Elms is that they're not very deep because it's literally just this one line. So actually one escalator and you're up and out. Also with lift availability at both stations that makes both the train stations really accessible for everybody. If you'd like London transport and seeing how to get around London and the different ways of doing it, I've put a playlist up in the top right hand corner for you of all of our videos connected with transporting around London.
The station here at Nine Elms has been built in the same way as that over at Battersea Power Station. And as we take a look, there you go, you've got that bit that overhangs the corner, but just slightly taller. Using your Oyster card or your contactless debit card, we're in zone one, so everything is close by and also it's quite cheap on fares. Completely uncharacteristically, the Northern Line hasn't been the Misery Line and everything seems to be working okay today. And here comes our train to take us away to the next video here on London Visited. If you want to know a bit more about London's public transport, then the video I've put up in the top right hand corner is our visit to the London Transport Museum over at Covent Garden. So if you click on that, I'll see you in there.